We are here today to discuss something we found in the drugstore. What, what? Now, these were talked about on, when did we first see them? What's Up in Makeup? Yeah. From Jen saw. Loves Reviews. Love her. That's a Sunday tradition now. Hello. Must watch. Um, but these were on What's Up in Makeup a couple weeks ago, and we decided to grab them. As soon as we found them, we were hunting, and hunting. then we found them, and super pumped the when we got them. The excitement was real. It I'll was. Say that. And in case you didn't know, Revlon came out with their own palettes. These are a Revlon color stay, not just nudes. Yes. So, the one that I picked up is actually the number one passionate nudes, which is like a basic neutral palette in my opinion. Um, nothing super crazy special, but just the fact that it was another drugstore palette made me want to jump all over that. Absolutely, because we like cheaper options for our high-end insanity. We have a lot of high-end palettes. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Like, nobody should have the amount of high-end palettes we have. Mm -hmm. And so to know that there is something at the drugstore that is a lot more affordable, well, it just kind of makes our bank bank accounts well, very happy. Very happy. They, they don't cry as much. Yes. Yeah. So, what we wanted to do was we wanted to take these, do a quick, like, swatch on them. We've both worn them. We've both swatched them a few times. And compare them to... I have here, we both have both of these palettes, but I have out here, because this one's super similar, the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1, and I have the Nude 2, which is very similar to the one I have, which is romantic nudes, more of like pinky purples, and this is more like purpley tones. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, this palette here, there are 10, ten shades, and you have a nice solid range of colors, you have a couple mattes right there, these two are matte, this one is matte. So three mattes, I think? Yeah, three mattes, and then the rest are shimmery or satiny shades. Mm -hmm. So you have darks, you have lights, you have golds, things like that. Now when they swatch, this one swatches out fairly nicely. So, go ahead. Like, it's not the best, but it's also not very bad. So, pretty nice. I, I can dig it. I hate this. This is a swatch of some of the colors, like, okay, on the fingertip. They look not bad. Not, not, not bad at all. Um, I personally think that these are garbage. Like, look at that middle color right there. I, I don't know. It's not... It's not worth it to me. They yeah. are $14.99, $14 $16 mm -hmm. something with um, with tax. Yes. It's just not worth it to me, especially when, like, for example, you can, these are, these are considerably more expensive. Not more expensive. These are, depending on where you buy them, they're yeah. anywhere from 16 up to 20 bucks. But this being the, you know, the new one, you have similar shades in here. Yeah. So pretty. So much prettier. I don't know if you guys will be able to see those. Yeah. I like the L'Oreal palettes a lot better. Me too. I... Here, I'll swatch the similar shades in here. Yeah. So you guys can see. I feel like these come off better. The pigmentation is better. Mm -hmm. um, I have worn... When I put this on my eyes, my immediate reaction was... It looks like a slightly different... Of the same color yeah basically like there was no real difference to the color it all just kind of looked like variations of brown and this has this is pink and purple and there's just no real difference other than like right. it's slightly dark some of them come off slightly darker some of them are lighter it just looked like I used a bunch of browns on my eyes yes and if you're gonna have purples and pinks in your palette it should come off as purples and pinks. Purples and pinks. Because you have, like, you have at Walmart, and I think it's sold everywhere now, but you have this palette right here, which is the Maybelline Blush Nudes. Yes. This palette, not, not, people like and people don't like, but, I mean, the colors actually come off. Like, if it's supposed to be a rosy color, it, it comes rosy. off rosy. Yes, it does. Um, so, I don't have any issue with the Revlon palette that I picked up, the number one, the Passionate Nudes. But I say if you're going to, if you're at the drugstore and you're stuck between these two right here, yeah, grab the L'Oreal one. L'Oreal all the way. L'Oreal one is Absolutely. so nice. It is still a palette that I grab for 
on a regular basis. Yep. Maybe not so much as some of my other palettes, but I do definitely grab for that one more so than I would ever grab for this, just because I know it's better. I was gonna return it, but I lost the receipt, so whatever. <sighs> I might just do it in a clean out or something, I don't know. Yeah, we might just send these down to our older sister. She might love these. She's got a lighter skin tone than us. So they, they might, might show, show up better. better. It might look nicer on her. Yeah, yeah. so huh. at the end of the day, I say, on those palettes. And I'm kind of like, mm, it's all right. Mm. It's not the best. Yeah. Definitely not the best drugstore option. Definitely when you can get this guy for 10 bucks. For 10 bucks. And this one for 16. I'd pick this guy. If you're willing to spend a little more money, L'Oreal all the way. L'Oreal all the way. Those all palettes way. are amazing. All the way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little review of the brand new Revlon Color Stay Not Just Nudes palettes. Yes, indeed. It is very exciting to see the drugstore coming out with so many palettes. Yes. Every single brand is pumping out palettes now, mm -hmm. which is amazing. That's awesome. But unfortunately for us, the Revlon Color Stay was not, not, not a winner. Not a winner for us. Nope, so. nope, nope. All right, guys. If you did enjoy this quick little review, give us a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button down below if you have not yet. Come hang out with us. Have fun with us. Yes, indeed. And we will see you guys very soon in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Yeah.